you got to break this down for us. Uh, why Sophia? So, then, that was uh, the time that I met uh, Sophia, and she was a very good woman. And I experienced a lot from her. Yeah. And I feel like she's a woman that I need to be with to spend the rest of the life. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, you, you're serious about it. This, yeah, this is not a fling. This yeah. is, you're serious. I'm very, very serious. So, how do you feel about that? I said yes when, whenever, you know. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. You said yes to what? To marriage. Whoa! <laughs> What's happening, everybody? Back here in Accra, Ghana. And look at who's beside me <laughs> back in Accra, Ghana. Hey. Oh, wait a minute now. Now, last time <laughs> we sat down, mm -hmm. you were by yourself. That's right, now. This time we're sitting down, mm -hmm. you're not by yourself. Yeah, I have my significant over here. This is Ishmael Abram. What's happening, Ishmael? How you doing? I'm fine. That's good, well. Yeah, it's been a wonderful time. Well, glad to be able to talk to you. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna catch up on uh, the your journey because when we sat down at the last interview, it was your first time in Ghana, mm -hmm. not your first time on the continent, mm -hmm. but your first time in yeah, Ghana. Johannesburg, Cape Town. And you've been to Nigeria, right? In Nigeria, yeah. Okay. Years ago. Years ago. All right. Well, twenty some years ago. Twenty some years ago. Mm -hmm. Now you came to Ghana. Mm -hmm. You talked about the great time that you had. Yes. You went back to the U.S., mm -hmm. now you're back in Ghana, mm -hmm. and you have a significant other. Yeah, I was compelled to come. You were compelled to yeah. come. Like a force driving me back. Oh, a force driving you back. <laughs> okay. I thought you were saying you were forced to come back. I was like, no, no. <laughs> well, in the way, <laughs> a force, a good a force. force yeah. A good force mm -hmm. brought you back. Well, before we start talking about your newfound relationship, What was it about Ghana that you felt that you would want to come back here? Because you live here now, mm -hmm. in a sense. In a sense, yeah. I got a permanent address here, so. So you have a permanent address, mm -hmm. and well, I guess the force brought you back to Ghana. Mm -hmm. But what has it been like? How long have you been back? Um, I came on September the second, so it'll be two months. Um, November second. Right. So you're coming so up on two, two months. months. Yeah. Okay. Right around the corner. And I've had, um, it's been a, um, a insightful experience, I've been a learning experience. Even since you've been back? Even since I've been back, because I've stayed in several different places trying to find the right, um, you know, accommodations for me for long term. Okay. And I've just recently found that, but, and looking for that, I've stayed in several different places. Um, how do you pronounce it? Cocoa Bright? Which uh, um, Cocoa Bright. Oh. Stay where he said, Coco Bate. Yeah, Coco Bate. Coco Cabana. Coco Cabana. No, it sounds like it, don't it? That's why I said you say it. But everything has been um, kind of like right on the Atlantic Ocean. The water has been beautiful. And, uh, and um, it has a whole different feel and vibe um, at, on the ocean, opposed to um, like in the States where everything has been raked and cleaned and well, and, but it's just like, it's natural. Mm. It's natural, the boats, the, um, the guys on the boats fishing, and actually to see them, the boats, you know, like, you know, not a, you know, a boat, not, you know, not a large vessel, but a boat, and see how the water comes up and goes into the boat with them. And then all of a sudden they say, where are they? Then they emerge, still paddling, and they do that on a day-to-day -day basis. We stayed that, and um, I was, it's been an experience. I ran across um, three little boys on the beach. Of course. And they um, was a big old tire, and they would jump on the tire and just did backflips. So I videotaped that, and sent it to my family, and they really enjoyed it. And, and you know, just the people very loving and very talented. Now you know when I ask this question, how does your family feel about you moving back over here to Ghana? They went completely bonkers at first. <laughs> Because I think, I think my daughter was trying to find you. 
But uh, see, sure. I, that's why I tell people. I say they're going to blame me. <laughs> Because you, because of what you, I'm saying you grow, they go blame me, but go ahead. So they, but so they they're comfortable now, you know, I've sent them videos and pictures and my daughter's planning on coming and visit um, after, after the first of the year. And I have a daughter-in-law who has her own school and she's going to be bringing some children here. Good. And to um, visit Ghana, so. And the people have just been outstanding. They've been so respectful and so kind. I know we were standing at a, um, at a, a booth from getting food mm -hmm. called a soup. Mm -hmm. And I like the goat soup with the rice and um, plantain. plantain. And, and um, the lady saw me standing there and her daughter was sitting in one of the chairs. And it was in Nima's, which is a poor community, but yet it's a, it's a vibrant community. I've There's heard, Muslims, yes. got Christians and different types of um, um, religious um, backgrounds. backgrounds. Sure. And the lady said, I told her daughter, get up, get up. Let her sit down. I said, oh, no, no. And then I said, maybe I may have hurt a feeling because I didn't sit down. Right. Because we were about to leave. Right, but right, I said, right. oh, we're getting ready to leave. I said, but I appreciate it. Thank you. But but that would never happen in the United States. Maybe rarely. I will say that. that something rare. Get, yeah. It would be very rare, you know. But um, that's how the people are here. From the from the people of wealth mm -hmm. to the people who um, of lesser not, means. Of yeah, lesser means. Very good. Yeah. They, um, they all treat you with respect in the same way, you know. Well, it sounds like you have become yeah. Ghanaian since, since you, and this was all happened since July. Yeah. And I remember, I, I talk about you with every tour. I talk about Sophia. See, but for you, over a year, I just watch videos, remember? I watch all right, the videos about God, and about the food and you about, um, you know. Um, what's it, tilapia? Mm -hmm. I love the tilapia. Yeah, that, yeah and, that's a that's big. And here. Um, you know, um, with this restaurant that sells um, catch and kill, you point at the fish in the tank that you want them to cook. It's called catch and kill. They take it out, fix it for you, prepare it for you, and fresh, just like fresh, that. Fresh, just like that. Yeah, and the fish is so the um, tilapia is so good. I've never seen a tilapia this size before. You know. They, so these are free range wild tilapia because yes, you know in America they have their yeah, farm raised, yeah, farm raised GMO yeah. and some other stuff it's, going on. It's, it's not the it's, same kind of tilapia. It's a big difference. It's a gigantic difference. You know, what's your favorite food here? I mean, fufu. I was getting ready to come fufu. to him. I was getting ready to come to Ishmael. We were going to talk. So, so, so Ishmael, you got you got to break like, this down for us. What's fufu? Yeah, you, you got to break this down for us. Mm -hmm. uh, why Sophia? Mm -hmm. Why not? Well, uh oh, <laughs> you said why not? <laughs> so I'm getting, I'm getting off. Why Sophia? And she said why not Sophia? But, <laughs> but why? What was the time? What was the, uh, the last man that I met you? Oh, at the um, art center. Yeah. No, yeah. And we were um, taking drum lessons. Drum mm. lessons. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Somebody tapped some drum. me on my shoulder, oh, and I man. turned around. Little did I know. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think. That was uh, the time that I met uh, Sophia, and she was a very good woman. And I experienced a lot from her. Okay. And I feel like she's a woman that I need to be with to spend the rest of the life. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So you, you're serious about it. This, yeah, this is not a fling. This yeah. is, you're serious. I'm very, very serious, I think. Really serious. So how do you feel about that? I said yes when, whenever, you know. My brother said, don't you go over there and get married. Oh, he whoa, said, whoa, you wait wait, six hold, hold on, hold on. You said yes to what? To marriage. Whoa. <laughs> but, I, but, you know, I don't know when it's going to happen. You know, my brother said I got to wait at least six months to a year, according to, according to Teddy. But Teddy don't run the show all the time. I, I don't know. So <laughs> is Teddy big brother or little brother? That's my baby brother. Yeah, yeah. That, that baby, baby brother is going to be. Yeah, baby brother, you know, he, he's all, up, up, all point, right? <laughs> So, so you all are engaged? Um, I would say not yet. Not yet, but yeah. it's, it's coming. Yeah, it's coming, I think. We're almost about to have it. Uh, we're waiting for some, you know, things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before we can move on to that. Okay. Yeah. You got to get all the, uh, I got to get my dual citizenship. I got to get my um, Ghana ID. I gotta, if you're gonna get, it's going to take a while get, to get your dual citizenship, though. It is. Yeah, I think. Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what, who you know and how you know. And, yeah. and you Everything's know been, just like um, where we're staying, that people say, well, you got to put up 
um, six months to a year. And I met this guy, and he gravitated to me. Very nice guy, the owner of the building. He's renovating it. He said, oh, go on. I said, do you want the deposit? He said, keep it. So he didn't take a deposit. I said, what's going on? I said, Let me find so out. I you said, got that thing. You got that thing. God, it's just good. That's all you I'm got saying. that thing where, 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 where <laughs> brothers see you, and he said, I need to have her in my life. <laughs> and then the people who normally ask for deposits, keep it. Keep it. <laughs> what you got going on? You know, you remember how Jesus. Otto used to say that, to, to say, yeah. uh, to, to, what you talking about, Willis? Willis? Jesus, that's all I got to say. That's right. Yeah. You know, he's not only, um, you know, my savior, he's my friend, my best friend. So with, with that, <laughs> where do you, I guess, you have no plans on going back to the U.S. now? Or? Well, I'll be going back once a year. I'll, yeah, I got to go back. I have, you know. My sister's brothers, grandchildren, my family. Yeah, you got yeah. And I'm, I'm a veteran, so I need to take my um, physical. Your, to, yeah. yeah, I need my eyeglasses, my free glasses. I guess. Right, right. You right, take, yeah. better, take yeah. advantage of the benefits. That's right. And my doctor, she's on WhatsApp, so I can talk to her every now and then. So. So and so you have come to Ghana, <laughs> at, and you don't mind me telling your age, because I've said it before, age 71, mm -hmm. and found love. Mm -hmm. Now I know I know the the, the comments on or just just <laughs> <laughs> I I can only imagine what's in the comments, <laughs> but what can we say? It, it's you know this is one of the things that I've learned. Age is just a number. Yeah, but they got. Well, no, I don't think it's the age. But they got in trouble though. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think it's the age. You got a whole lot of trouble. I know other people has gotten in trouble <laughs> sitting there like, but. <laughs> But but I don't think it's, it's not just the age, mm -hmm. you know. I think it's yeah. it's uh, you know a variety of factors. But I think um, things you just the way you look at life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I and I've been in the military, so I'm used to doing sit ups, push ups, two mile run. I'm um, not even going to go down 16, other roads here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, qualified. I, I, to our uh, weapon and everything. So, but 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 I'm saying I'm not going to go down any other roads, right? I'm going to leave this. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, I'm, I'm seasoned. Well, well, oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> we, we do this conversation. What's going on? I can take care of myself. You know. No, you can definitely take care of yourself. Yeah. I, I watched you because I, I'm a I escaped from you a couple of times. I was, that's what yeah. I was going to say. I was, I was getting ready to go there. And I was telling, uh, telling Sophia and a few other people on the tour that it, I wasn't going to do summer camp this particular summer because I have a summer camp that mm -hmm. I've been running for 12 years. Oh, wow. And I was like, well, I'm going to take off this summer and then... Then you all came, mm -hmm. and I looked. We were at the at the dungeon at uh, I think it was Cape Coast. Cape Coast, it's beautiful, right on the water. It's just. Uh... And then I look up. I'm standing on the on the roof, and I look up, and you're walking up the hill. <laughs> and then I say, Sophia, come here. You look at me. I said I'll be all right. No, 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 no. It was no. You said. <laughs> I didn't. I was just telling you I'll be all right. I'm fine. You and know? I'm looking. I'm coming running out. I wouldn't you. dare disrespect well, you. Yeah, no, it wasn't. But I was like, well, where? I said, well, where is she going? And then you went, and so it gave me a chance to kind of walk around Cape mm -hmm. Coast. I'd never had a chance mm -hmm. to do that. And then they had the female officer with her, um, I want to call it M16, like weapon. And then I said, well, maybe I shouldn't be there. <laughs> He's on the AK. <laughs> yeah, I said, maybe I shouldn't be walking down there. But um, everybody was cool. The kids came up to me and whatnot, you know. So I love children, you know, because I taught school. For, um, yeah, you you for are a gem. Years. You know, someone uh, called me a gem on one of uh, the tours recently. But you are a gem, oh, and so you true. you. I remember when we did our discovery call, mm -hmm. and we were talking on that call, and mm -hmm. and you were determined to come to Ghana. You mm -hmm. made it. But now that you've been here, back home, found love. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's just amazing to see, and, and and just know this, we got your back. I know you. So do. anytime I'm here, mm -hmm. even if I'm not here, mm -hmm. you know the whole the crew, the, the, the staff that I have here, mm -hmm. has your back if you need us for anything, and if your um, uh, if your family mm -hmm. wants to come over. Yeah, um, I think what they want to do is like a group of maybe 10, 15. Oh, cool, cool. And then I told them they can go through you. Max, okay. Maximum impact. Well, but I got you covered too, though, because you're part of the family. Mm -hmm. see, you see what I'm saying? So that's how we do it. I, I tell people all the time is that once you travel with me, it becomes family. 
And I like to, because you know how I do it. I try to make it an experience for everyone, a, a hands-on experience and not just, you know, pass you off to someone. Exactly. It's like, I, especially when, if it's a tour that I'm hosting, you know, obviously I don't host every tour, but mm -hmm. if it's a tour that I'm hosting, I like for you to get that firsthand attention. And you definitely got my firsthand attention. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> but um, what words of encouragement would you have for someone now that you've come, gone, come back? Because I, I, you're the well, you're like the third or fourth person I know that has come to Ghana mm -hmm. and found love. Mm -hmm. Just basically, um, I would go on YouTube because everybody's so you know it's not rehearsed or anything. It's just open honesty from people, you know, mm -hmm. talking about the experiences, and especially um, the YouTubers like Wody Meyer and mm -hmm. and people like him, you know. And that's what really compelled me to come here, like a Wody Meyer you okay. know, and other people, you know. Yeah, I've ran into him since. Yeah, I, it, I, I watched the video. He saw our interview. Yes, yeah, we ran into each other. I'm sure good. we'll see each other again. It and good, uh, yeah. and we, I'm, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm so impressed with what he's done mm -hmm. at such a young age that it's like it inspired. I mean, he inspires so many people. He's driven. Yeah. And he's patient. And what I like about him, he listens. Yes. Yeah, he, he just let people talk, 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 and just listen, listen, listen. Yeah. He's very good with that. And I think that one of the uh, other things that he does is he's, he has a knowledge of the place that he's going to. Oh, yeah. So he does his yeah, homework. He does his homework, exactly. Ahead of time. Yeah, he knows he has to do his homework. Yeah. Him and Miss Trudy, are they still together? I, I can't comment on... <laughs> I, all I can say is that when, when I met him, she was there. Yeah. She's, so, I, so I'm she's, sure. Yeah, she's I'm a, sure. She's a lovely person. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. She was very nice as well. Yeah. Well, I know that you um, are here. Yeah. I'm back and forth. So I'll be keeping up with you. Yeah. And if, she, if, if at any point in time you all need anything, Ishmael, let me know. Okay. And, uh, and I, I definitely am excited for you, too. Yeah. Because, I mean, now, do you make a particular craft? You're, you were yeah. at the Arsenal. What do you make? Well, I sell a craft. Wait, oh, you sell crafts? Yeah, craft, you buy. Oh, you don't make it. Okay. You okay, buy you sell. and sell. Yeah. Okay, you're the entrepreneur. You're an entrepreneur in this situation. All right, so you're the man. Okay. We want to get like a brick and mortar maybe instead of um, like we went to the art center. Mm -hmm. Maybe have something that, you know, my artwork and other things, you know. Okay. You never know, can tell. Maybe you'll be bringing a tour through our store. Mm-hmm. I know. Bring some, you know, well, tours. Uh, yeah, we will. We will. And, and, uh, and, and I'm telling you, you will have a lot of people uh, excited to meet you. Mm -hmm. And so when you set the store up, let us know. Because oh, we've okay. had people actually open online stores yeah. after coming yeah. on the mm -hmm. tours. We've had people open. Uh, right. People have had items made. It's, mm -hmm. So we're, really what we're doing is we're bridging the gap and we're connecting people yeah. on multiple levels. And so, uh, so just know we're here. Yeah. And... Um, when, when do you think the, 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 the launch date might be for the store, or are you just kind of? Um, really, it's going to be um, probably after the first of the year. Oh, so it's going to be soon? I hope so. All I right, well, I'm going to come through with so. the cameras. I hope okay. so. I'm going to come through with the cameras and, okay. and let everybody know, so mm -hmm. when they come to the arts, and it'll be a destination. Yeah, I would like yeah. to try to That'll have it in place by the time my daughter gets here. So, so. Okay. And, and, and let your daughter, I'll let your daughter know. She won't be worried about me. I got my eyes on her. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. Yeah, he always checks in Sicily. Oh yeah, everything's fine. Sicily, it's all good. <laughs> so, so and, and call me, you know. And Michael, my son. Yeah. There you go, and Michael as well. I look forward to meeting them. Yeah, they're great. I know they are. Yeah, she just finished her um, nurse practitioner, so now she's officially a nurse practitioner. Oh, she, 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 she passed the she board making that and money. everything. Yeah, she's making some. Oh, chatter. I know she's making that money. Pass them on to mommy. <laughs> well, you about to be balling with the whole with the, with the well, store. Well, she wants to buy property when she comes here. Hopefully, no. I hope she does. I hope she does too. Mm -hmm. I, well, I wish you the very best, and I thank both of you for sitting down and talking to me and doing thank this weekend. Thank you for having us. Thank you for asking. You didn't have to, but you did. No, like I, I said, when you it. when you come on one of my tours, you're part of my family. And, and I mean, that's thank real. you, brother Jay. My brother. <laughs> I was the nephew last time. Oh, nephew! <laughs> you switched up the brother. <laughs> you almost called me son last time. Remember? Oh, yeah, really? You, I guess you would be my nephew. You're such a baby. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Well, everybody. Well, how's your family? Everybody's doing and well. Your kids. Yeah, everybody's doing well. Good. Yeah, they're keeping. They, as a matter of fact, they're um, uh, the youngest one. He took his first airline flight. Wow. 
it's embarrassing to say he's 18 years old. Oh, no, we, but 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 now he's getting ready to he's going to start doing some traveling and uh, yeah. and everybody we else is traveling. Got to start somewhere, right? Got to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. right. So all right, everybody, listen, make sure that you like, subscribe, and share. These are the conversations that we follow up on as a part of the Maximum Impact Travel Experience. So, hey, you never know. You might find love in Ghana. You just never <laughs> know what might happen <laughs> in Ghana. Look, Ishmael, he, he looked at the camera on that one. He turned to the side. He said, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so listen, everybody, make sure that you continue to, uh, again, subscribe and share this content because what we're looking to do is to bridge the gap between Africa and the African diaspora and telling our stories through our eyes and not allowing Hollywood and not allowing someone else who might not have our best interest exactly. to tell our stories. Exactly. And this is just the beginning. The way that we keep letting people know about it is every time you share the content, every time you like, every time you comment, you might not even uh, agree with, with the, con the, the content, but even your un, um, unfavorable mm -hmm. comments are welcome because it gives us an opportunity to learn mm -hmm. and grow and have this conversation uh, within this space. So again, thank you for tuning in. Until next time, take care. Adventures of Darren and Destiny. And Darren and Destiny are twin brother and sister. And you go on their adventures throughout the African diaspora, meaning so African diaspora destinations, primarily focused in Africa, but we go to South America, we're gonna to go to the Caribbean. Their first book is going to take you to Ghana. And then we're gonna go on a safari. And from there, we're gonna to go to Ethiopia. And then we go to Salvador, Brazil. And what the goal is, is to be able to inspire curiosity in the continent of Africa, in our children from a very young age, and to really tell a more accurate story. Most of our children are exposed to negative images, late night infomercials about how bad things are, everybody's sick, everybody's poor, everyone's uneducated, but that's simply not true. So what Darren and Destiny and their family do is they go to different African destinations. They are learning about these different places. You're beginning to see positive images, but still telling the truth. I mean, that's the important thing, to tell the truth about some of the things that have occurred. But it's all done on our children's level so they begin to understand it. And it begins to pique their curiosity. They begin to learn more. And hopefully one day they will want to explore and visit the continent of Africa and its many countries. There's just so much that Darren and Destiny are able to do and as they're doing it, it's, it's like they begin to open the minds of a, a new generation and they don't get bombarded and indoctrinated with negativity. They're actually able to see positivity and inspiring images and messages about the African diaspora, as well as those who are still indigenous to the continent of Africa. And they begin to learn more and, uh, and just see things differently. So I'm excited about introducing the adventures of Darren and Destiny.